I think this event is important. It recalls the historic Alma Ata conference at which the Declaration of Health for All was made. This conference builds upon Alma Ata. It recommits to the values of Alma Ata and principles of equity, solidarity, and human rights. I think once and for all, we need to make the distinction between the primary healthcare strategy and the first level of care. And, and it is extremely important that we get it right this time, that we ensure that communities are at the very center of, of anything that we do in terms of health development and social and broader development as well. We, we need to ensure that we take care of the needs of all peoples, not just, not just a few. And that universal health means universal. It means everyone, no matter where they are, with special attention being paid to leaving no one behind. And, and that is with a special eye to the vulnerable population, to women, to children, ethnic groups, to LGBT populations, to um, all of those groups that have been left behind for far too long. We believe that the Astana Declaration calls us to new action, to universal access to health and universal health coverage that is based on the primary health care approach and, and that we are called to use innovation innovation to help us reach that goal. I, I certainly believe that uh, this week is a call to action for governments to invest in their people, to take responsibility for meeting the health needs of their people. I believe it is a call for young people, and young people were very well represented here, so that they too recognize that they have a responsibility. I feel so hopeful because they have been here. We've passed on the baton to them, so to speak, and, and we've, we've worked with them to ensure that they recognize that they have that responsibility. But it is also a responsibility for the private sector and for civil society and for academia. We are sure that it is only together that we can ensure universal access to health and universal health coverage. It is only together that primary health care and the strategy can become a reality. And so as we move on from Astana, we do that firmly recognizing that the tenets of Alma Ata continue to be relevant and valid and that this must be the fuel that drives the Astana Declaration. We don't have much time. It's just 12 years to go. And so there is need for accelerated action. There is need for our donor agencies and our, our developmental partners to come together in a new way, in a new way to support governments to ensure that people all over the world are reached. So overall, I'm extremely hopeful.